So someone who owns a dog boarding business, I absolutely love dogs. Uh, I love working with dogs. I absolutely love what I do. Uh, pretty much if I can get the opportunity to keep doing what I'm doing, I will always, 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 hopefully keep doing it. Now, this video I wanted to make mainly because not even because I own a dog boarding business, and obviously I love dogs, everyone loves dogs, but at the same time, this is a very, very scary situation for any dog owner pretty much out there. Now, this dog in this video pretty much got into two wine bottles. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how the hell he opened two wine bottles. Like, you literally, you guys know how wine bottles are, and the fact that he chewed his way through it is actually pretty, like, incredible. Now, I see people who are, like, saying, like, oh, you know, this is staged, um, or, you know, hey, you know, this is irresponsible, which, listen, in a way, it is irresponsible, but, like, I do see some people out there saying, like, hey, you know, this girl did this on purpose, she filmed this on purpose, I don't think that's the case. I, I listen, I, I can't imagine getting your dog drunk on purpose for clout. Like that is literally in my eyes, animal abuse. Um, so hopefully that's not fucking true. I do keep seeing comments on it, but I will say it's definitely suspicious that this dog somehow got into two wine bottles. Like I said, I'm not saying that she purposely did that and I hope she didn't purposely get her dog drunk, but it, it, it's very, it's very, very, very odd. So let's watch this video and uh, kind of get your guys opinion on it. So this is what I just came home to. But Mary from South Jersey walked in on the aftermath of doggy cocktail hour. This is empty. This was uh, probably more than halfway full. A bottle of Bailey's on the floor. And a By the way, this TikTok video got over like 5 million likes. So it, it went per pretty viral. It's a pretty scary situation. It, and listen, like when you see the dog drunk, it, it is funny, but like... You got to remember, like, these dogs are like two-year-old toddlers, man. You know, they don't fucking know any better. They're a wild animal at the end of the day. So, but let's keep watching. A bottle of vodka knocked over on the counter with the cap half off. Mary didn't have to smell his breath. Jack, try to walk. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Jack man. <laughs> oh, his name's Jack, too. The motherfucker drank too much Jack Daniels, apparently. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, and like, it's funny, but it's really fucking scary. Your dog can die from this shit. So you got to be really careful, guys. You got a dog that, um, that can, that usually, you know, can, uh, we call it like, uh, counter surfing. Um, you got a dog that counter surfs, man. You got to make sure your shit's up. It's not funny, but my dog is drunk and I don't know what to do about it. Wrote one commenter, your dog just failed a field sobriety <laughs> test. <laughs> Even when sober, Jack can be a handful. He's a five-year-old former shelter dog, possibly a husky shepherd mix. Mary immediately called poison control, then took Jack to the vet where he got IV fluids and was kept overnight. The vet called in the morning saying, You know, he's fine. He's prancing around like he's not even hungover. No hangover. Not even appetite. hungover. Oh, there my go. God. Was fine. Jack used a window seat to jump up on the counter to get at the booze. You can see bite marks wow. shoot off the cap. This dog is my world. Jack is my child. While Jack hit the bottle, Nate... Well, listen, if Jack is your child, <laughs> Jack Daniels here, I always say this, guys, and for me, for someone who owns a dog boarding business, and even my own dog, and a lot of people are fucking against it. I, I don't know why they're against it. When you leave the house, create your dog. It is the safest thing. It is a lifesaver. Everyone thinks for some reason it's fucking jail. Oh, the dog's in jail. Like, no, it's not jail. It, it literally will keep your dog safe. You got to train your dog that it's crate. It's like it's little home. Okay. We don't use the crate for like, you know, if your dog does something bad, we don't put it in the crate. That's, that's not how, you know, crate training works. We crate train to show like, Hey, you know, this is your home. This is your safe space. Like you stay here while I'm gone. Like I personally, like I just grew up with dogs where like, we've always created the dogs and especially like the dogs I get here. The first questions I ask, uh, when I board a dog is the border del is the border tell shot updated and is a crate train. And you know, there are some clients who are like, Oh, why do you ask that? You know, is my dog going to be in a crate all day? No, but I have a life too. If I want to go to the food store i need to take a run the home depot like whatever it is i know that your dog is safe and i know that your dog is in a crate and nothing bad is going to happen to it i can't explain how many times 
people have not crate trained their dog and either they choked on something, they got into something like this where they it was alcohol, whatever thing it is. I know a dog um, where like it jumped on the fucking stove and it hit one of the buttons and the stove turned on while the owner wasn't home and there was a pizza box on top of it and it fucking almost burned the whole house down. So guys, crate train your dogs. Like show them that the crate is fine. Like it's going to take time. It's a little process doing it, but like I just can't imagine not crate training the dogs. Like, and I've, listen, I've had a lot of Huskies here. Huskies, I, I have a nickname for them. They're fucking escape artists and they're smart dogs. They either try to constantly escape or they try to constantly get into something. I love Huskies, but it's the goddamn truth. <laughs> That's just what they are. They're beautiful dogs, awesome dogs to have, biggest cuddlers, but they are known for trying to constantly escape and constantly just get into something so crate train the dog guys be a lifesaver but anyway i'll shut the hell up feature documentaries have featured other animals it can be a little too lush getting drunk on overripe fermented fruit what the fuck hey jack now everybody's joking jack that jack's new name should be jack daniel look at that see you I promise I didn't watch this video. I think that's just pretty common sense, Jack Daniels. But I'm really curious to how he got in the wine. Like I said, I know I keep seeing comments of, you know, people, oh, she did it on purpose for clout. I don't think that's the case, guys. If that's the case, somebody needs to call fucking, what is it, like, I don't even know the number to like animal abuse, but I don't think that's the case. I'm sure she didn't do that. I'm sure this is an accident. I'm sure this is as more common as people think it is. Like this is a pretty common thing. And I'm telling you, you got to create your dogs. Like, oh, it just, it's a lifesaver. It really is. It's not funny, but my dog is drunk. New York. <laughs> So do you think Jack needed a little hair of the dog? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that he got it. Well, anyway, I'm glad the dog's okay. That's a very, very fucking scary situation, guys. It's as funny as it is, but like, thank God the dog was fine when it got to the vet. It seemed like they gave that dog like a bunch of like IV fluids and things. So hopefully this dog's okay. Hopefully Jack is uh, staying off the Jack Daniels. You get what I'm saying? So... But like I said, guys, cray train them dogs, man. I, I know I'm going to get hate for it. I know it's bad. People think it's bad. It's like fucking jail. I'm telling you, it's not the case, bro. I'm um, in like, or, you know, get, get a fucking placemat. You can get them on Amazon. You Train your dog place. Train your dog to stay in its place. So, I don't know, just some ideas. I always cray train the dogs when I don't have my eyes on them. That's just my little safety thing I got going. But hopefully Jack's okay. Just wanted to bring you guys this video. Guys, have a wonderful day. Check you guys all later. Peace.